Yo, what it do, man? What it do? What it do? Welcome back to the channel, man. If you are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to share, man, so we can continue to keep on growing this channel and so more people can know this knowledge, man, and put it in their cranium so they can continue to get smarter and develop mentally stronger. So, um, yeah, welcome back to the channel, man. Make sure to subscribe. So, Let's get to today's video. For today's video, man, we're gonna be talking about basketball leadership, all right? So when it comes to leadership, you're basically helping somebody. You're leading the team. You're helping the team get to success, all right? Whether you win or lose, you really never lose. You always, you just learn from your mistakes. That's a very, very important thing when it comes to basketball. If you do something wrong, make sure to watch film and see what you did wrong and be like, okay, I can fix this, fix that, whatever the case is, all right? So when it comes to leadership, look at the teams in the NBA. Like the Golden State, you got Draymond Green. He's basically the main leader for this team, vocally and on court. Uh, well, mainly vocally. He's not, you know, like the top scorer or whatever. Um, the Lakers, all right? They recently, shoot, ah. Uh, Dude, I forgot. I don't. Is Rondo still on the Lakers? Yeah, I forgot, man. <laughs> Leave a comment down below. I, I totally forgot. I don't know if he got traded or that he got released. I know. Yeah, but basically, what I'm saying is, okay, LeBron, he's basically the leader on the team. He's gonna lead the team to success, not only because of his skill, but also because of his vocal um, leadership. So let's say if the teammate came off that pick and roll the wrong way or he came off it too late, too fast, he's going to let that teammate know about it. He's going to make sure and correct it. He's going to say, okay, uh, you probably, you did this wrong. You need to be doing this, this, and that. He's not going to say, why you do that? Do this next time, do this. No, he's not going to, he's not going to like, you know, like, he, how should I say? He's not going to. Oh, he's gonna lead he's gonna he's gonna do his best to lead the team to success so if he finds out his players doing wrong he's gonna correct it so he's gonna go up to that player and say hey you you should you should probably do this because this is the right way leading not only himself but the whole team to success which is great and a lot of people say the best player on the team is usually the leader on the team which is not true not at all like I said Golden State Draymond Green is basically the leader for that team. Um, is he the best player on the team? No. Recently, they had Kevin Durant. Uh, they got Steph Curry. They got Klay Thompson. Yes, Steph Curry and Klay Thompson, they're veterans for that team. They have some leadership as well. But the main leader on that team is Draymond Green because he's vocally always talking. If he sees something wrong that Steph is doing or Klay's doing, He's gonna let them know about it so they could do better, they could do a better job the next time. That's leadership. That is leading them to success. Not only them as an individual, but also for the team, so they could have a better chance to win that game. He missed the shot tonight. Did he? I did it, he did too. It's okay, keep it moving. Like say you're going sloppy in the drill, that leader is gonna let them know about it. It's not because he's like trying to annoy them or get on to them, but he wants to get on to them so they can learn, they can continue to learn because if they continue to keep on doing that sloppy BS, they're gonna keep on doing it and eventually the defense is gonna catch on and it's not gonna be a great thing for that team. It's only gonna hold the team back. So, and it's another thing, another thing also is let's say, let's say, Let's say you are a two-year veteran on the team, right? And throughout drills or you're stretching, you always, you're always sloppy, right? You're always sloppy. A rookie comes in, okay? A rookie, his first year in the league, rookie. That rookie, he wants to learn everything an NBA player does. Stretching, his eating habits, uh, how many times a day he gets shots up, how many shots he gets up, and etc. And if he sees you, the two-year veteran that's been in the league for two years, you doing sloppy stretching, sloppy drill work, sloppy uh, balling drills or whatever, 
he's gonna think, okay, this is the right way to do it. This is how you do it. This is how you train like a pro. But in reality, you are practicing sloppy and he's gonna pick up those sloppy traits from you. And that's when he gets sloppy. And if, he, if no one corrects him for that, he's gonna keep on doing that. And let's say, fast forward one year later, now he's been in the league for two years and another rookie comes in and that rookie sees the previous rookie working out sloppy because he picked it up from you and it's just going to continue to be a cycle and that's not a good thing to happen so that's why you always like if you see someone doing something wrong let them know about it man it's not like you're getting on to them like hard like that you're just trying to help them out and you want to lead them to success that is leadership Lead, lead is in the word leadership because you're helping them out you're leading them to success it's not like you're taking charge like do this 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 and that no you're just helping them out also it could be throughout the drills man you're taking charge you're leading that leading the team man you're bringing that energy that okay let's go let's go let's go let's go if somebody makes a shot clap for them clap for them it makes a three put that three symbol up man you know what i'm saying do whatever you do bring that energy for your team and your team will follow man you could have the quietest bench on the team right but if you if you bring that energy start the clap start screaming yeah okay i'll see you joe i'll see you man put up the three every time they shoot a three or oh it's okay you get it next time man you got you i'll see you i'll see you good pass man good pass you bring that energy guarantee your team will follow i guarantee you i guarantee you and that's leadership man bringing that energy whether it's in a game or just in drills and practice. Bring that energy. Always go hard in practice. Because if you go sloppy, that's not leadership. You're just, you're just going through the motions. Whenever you're doing drills, go hard. Almost like it's a game. Uh, you're doing closeout drills, go hard. Stop, 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 stop. Or you see the ball, the ball's coming to you, ball, 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 ball. Do all that stuff, you know? Go hard and practice and everybody else will follow. Another thing when it comes to basketball leadership, bro, is just always staying positive, man. And when it comes to staying positive, it could mean, say you lose a game, trust me, I know it hurts. Especially a championship run, I know it hurts, man, but you just have to stay positive. And your team may be down, but hey, be that guy on the team to say, hey, it's okay, man, we play hard. Yes, we lost, but we'll learn from it and we'll be back. Okay, give them that nice, give them that talk. Be like, it's all good, man. Like, we we tried our best. We will be back. Stay, that's staying positive. Or you missed the last five shots. It's okay, man. Keep on shooting. I know you got this. That's staying positive. Or, hey, he broke your ankles. It's all good, man. Just get back on that defense, man. Get back on D and lock up, man. You got it. I see you lock him up. I see you begin them steals. Keep on clamp this dude up. Clamp this girl up. That's leadership. Staying positive throughout any situation. It's okay. You missed the shot. All of us have. Nobody's perfect. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Um, I got more heat coming for y'all, man. And thank you for all of you guys who have subscribed five minutes ago, just now or last year i really appreciate it i've been doing youtube for about a year now wow <laughs> uh this coming up january that's gonna be two years that's crazy wow time goes by fast but hey i appreciate each and every one of you guys man and i will see y'all in the next video let's get to it